it took so long, I found out my girlfriend I'm living with is a prostitute. It's pretty heavy stuff, man. Shut it! Mr. Smith, your results are in. No, Doc. I want you to take out my kidney regardless of what it says inside that envelope. My kidney or Joel Larson's kidney, one of them will be a match. I don't want to know which one you use. She's my daughter no matter what. Mr. Smith, just curious, how did you get the other kidney? I called in a favor. I can tell what's going on. It's hip to be square. It's hip to be square. I like my fans in Minnesota. I watch them on TV. <sighs> Mom, listen. I'm so Haley, excuse me, but I had a crazy dream just now that made me realize something. I should be spending time with my family, not hiding away from them in a cave. Dad, that's not what we... Hold on, want to get Steve on speaker for this, too. Hey, Dad, what's up? I see now that a cave is a place for a bear, not a man. The only kind of cave I want to be in from now on is a family cave. Freeze, dirtbag! Dad! It's all over, Randy. Time to die. Okay, yeah, I get it. Uh, aren't you... Aren't you going to apologize and beg for your life? No. Look, I'm a sex offender. I love offensive sex. I offend people with the sex I have. That's who I am, and that's who I'll always be. My God, boys. We can all take a page from Randy the Molester's book. He's comfortable with who he is. And I should be as well. So I'm not a killer. If it happens for me and I kill someone, great. If not, fine. But it's not going to be what defines me. I don't need to kill someone to prove anything to you, myself, or anyone else. Thanks for saving us. I'm sorry for the way I acted. Just because you haven't killed anyone doesn't mean you're not a great dad. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, Francine, these are like the wine glasses you never got. What's that, Stan? Uh, nothing, just this wine glass has a spot. <laughs> uh, there's, there's no spot on that wine glass. What? Don't criticize her housekeeping. It's her one thing. It is? Yeah, Mary, this glass is filthy. Dude, I just told you. Shut up, dickhead. I worked too hard for you to say. This whole table setting looks kind of shabby. And these aren't even Christmas napkins. <gasps> How dare you, Stanley? Honestly, with your taste, the hole I put in the wall is an improvement. And you call this a tree angel? It looks like the creepy girl from the ring. <gasps> My great-grandma Linquist died with this in her arms. Well, it looks like crap. Maybe you're right, Stan. Sometimes I do wish we were never married. Great. Now put it on the tree. Please work. Please. Please. <gasps> oh, honey. I thought you were sleeping in. No. I never want to sleep in. I want to be part of everything. <gasps> Cozy! Thanks, Dad. These are for you. <gasps> I needed new perks. I know, I can smell. You got the wine glasses? Yes, the one. <laughs> what? Why? Because you're my one and only, baby. Oh, group hug. <laughs> well, these two were here first. The door is theirs. Yes, I can't believe it! We did it! We did it! We won! It's over! Yes! 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 Yeah! You know what, old stuff? Let them have it. What? Go ahead. Oh, mm. oh yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Mm. Mm. Dad, what are you doing? See that guy over there dry humping the door? You know where he's going? No. Neither does he. But we know where we're going. To find another door. Don't you see, son? Finding DeLorean doors is our thing. Hey, yeah. I guess it is. Of course it is, you old polecat. Yeah! Oh, sorry. Now, to keep our cool factor at 10, I'm gonna pull her around, go real slow, and you just hop in when it feels right. 